Okay, so now I'd like to work on these styles over here that we're having on our wall. So we're going to be using the brick node so that we can achieve these kind of tiles, these random tiles. Okay, so I'm going to jump and create my first material. So let's create our first material. It's going to be uh, tiles, just like that. And also I'm going to hide everything. Shift A, search for a plane, and let's operate on it. Okay, so for this one, let's choose that uh, tile texture just like this and where is it there we go so i'm gonna start with the brick shift a search for a brick node this one over here let's connect the color to the base color just like this so that you can be able to see it so this is our brick so we need to make it look like this so as you can see we don't have this uh, uh the offset we need to set it to zero so you can have identical uh, units so over here where is that offset yeah set it to zero over here so this is the first thing also for the scale the scale of our tiles so we need to make them uh, squares so i'm gonna set it over here to one and this one to one there we go also for the scale we can increase that scale to something really big something like 50 50 in the scale there we go so now you can see that we immediately start seeing this kind of uh, outcome but now what we need to do is to start adding some details and add some noise so that we can make it look interesting. But before that, let's continue with this one. So for the mortar size, I prefer this 0.05. We need to increase that gap in between those tiles. Also for the more uh, the smooth over here, I would like to increase it. Because over here, you can see that we have some sharp ends. We don't want that. We want to have some uh, smoothness on these edges. So I'm going to increase it to uh, 0.75. Oops, not this one, but this one over here. So 0.75. There we go. So this one's going to be uh, good for our normal map. So for the bias, uh, I would like to do something. So basically the bias is what makes uh, these variations in colors. So I'd like to set it to minus, minus 0.25. Or you can keep it just at zero. Zero is fine. Yeah, zero is good. Okay, also for the width and the height. Good. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is to mix it with uh, a color ramp. So Shift A, search for a color ramp. I'm gonna put it on top of that so that we can control the colors of our tiles. So the first color, I would like to bring this one over here to the side and let's make it brown. Give it this brown color. This one over here, let's make it darker. Yep, something like this. Not that red. I don't want it to be red. Yeah, something like this. For the second color, let's uh, hit Control and click. Also, you can hit this plus sign. For this one over here, let's make it light. Yeah, this one over here, these uni units. Let's make a light. Or let's, uh, let's see what we can have. Yeah, something like this. Third one is going to be, uh, I'd like to make it completely black. But I'd like to bring these close to each another. So th this one over here, I want to make it black. It's good to have these uh, black units. And the final one is going to be brown. Brown, but let's pick a different brown color. Yep, something like this. Okay, so now for the growth, the growth or this this mortar size, mortar, uh, mortar color. Well, how can we add change the color of this one? So for that we're gonna be using the mask again, this factor mask. I can put it over here so you can show you that. So basically we're gonna be telling Blender to paint uh, a different color only on the white spaces. So let's do that. So Shift A search for a mix RGB. Put it over there. And over here for the factor, let's connect this one over here. So basically on the bottom over here, it's going to take this color. Check this out. Good. So I'd like to make it white. Black, white. Yeah, let's go with white. There we go. So now we created our tiles. Okay, so now we are having our base color uh, ready. So we need now to work on some uh, bumps. Okay, so for that shift A, let's bring our bump node. This one over here. And uh, I'd like to take grab the color put it connects to the height and the normal to the normal so let's see there we go so we're having some bumps going on but i don't like it so let's tweak this one a little bit down yeah basically we need to tweak that down but also what what i'd like to do is to mix this noise over here i'd like to mix it with some uh, noisy uh, details so let's search for noise noise texture over here 
and shift A search for a mix RGB put it on top of that and let's connect this one to the bottom so now we're having some noisy surface going on which is good but we need to increase the details to 16 and this one I'm gonna just decrease it down to 1 alright so now we're seeing some bumps going on which is really good so for this one let's see what we can do yeah we can we can basically set it to 0.75 and decrease it from here let's decrease it from here to just the half let's see also for the color I don't want to make it bright so let's make it a little bit dark a dark growth nice yeah I like it for the roughness we can uh, let's go ahead and plug this one over here and see uh, the roughness map so this one's gonna give us those uh, kind of variations in roughness which is good okay so there we go so this is our uh, our our material over here so we're gonna be assigning it to our building okay so there we go so we can see it right now also I'd like to do it on the other side so let me grab these and let's assign the tiles to it pretty much good but I'm, I don't think that we're having a consistent size of tiles so let's uh, U and unwrap select both of these and let's scale them up based on this one so let's scale by 2 I guess oops or let's just scale by 1.5 there we go so now we created those nice tiles